You think they're gonna look good on me? No. What is wrong with you? I started a new form of dieting. I was able to do 275, easy, super easy, and I think that's gonna be my opening weight in the competition. You don't have a butt that big. Stop, stop talking about my butt like that. Well, let's put it to the test. Damn, boy. Yeah, your love handles are getting smaller. Okay, all right, that's good. <laughs> that's good. What's up fam? Just finished my workout. Today was pretty quick, actually. I started a new form of dieting. It still has to do with fasting and I'm gonna go over it later. For the results that I've been getting because they've been pretty dramatic, actually, in the past few days. I kind of hit a peak on how much weight I was losing with just eating once a day, but kind of like eating pretty much whatever I wanted, trying to keep my calories below 2,000. It's not that I wouldn't have kept losing weight, it's just I wasn't losing it at the pace that I needed to in order to prepare for this competition. So adjustments are always made. Um, you know, when you plan to do something, that's why you kind of pace yourself. Like I said, you know, the weight scale goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and as long as you connect the highest point and the lowest point, you're still trending in the right direction, you're good to go. But at the end of the day, you have to stick to the plan. So I was falling a little bit behind. I made a couple adjustments that, that really turned out to work well, and I can't wait to go over that with you later. I'll give you guys a little hint. I was low on carbs, if that gives you guys a good enough hint. The gym felt pretty good today. My lift went different. It was a good lift, but it went different. I definitely felt like I got a better workout in a sense of I'm sore. Not that I got a great pump or that my numbers were astonishing. My numbers were actually a little bit lower. So today I did some light work, some, some quick work, but what I'm trying to do is prep myself to bench like I'm going to bench in the competition. So I'm trying to do like single rep stuff, super light touch to the chest, maybe even a second pause. I didn't really do pauses today. I really just wanted to get a feel for how this new diet was gonna affect my lifts. I was able to do 275, easy, super easy. And I think that's gonna be my opening weight in the competition because it's something that I know for sure I'm gonna be able to get, and I'm gonna be able to get it with good form. And that's the important thing. You gotta get that first good push off so that they could record you with three green lights and they count it, right? And then you can be a little more risky after you set your base, you know, so you don't set yourself up to not have a, a good lift. And then I was able to hit 295. You guys will see that in the video. Video quality is a-okay. Um, I'm just getting comfortable with recording myself at the gym again. It's weird, you stop vlogging for a while and all of a sudden you're uncomfortable in front of the camera and you feel like everyone's watching you. You gotta push through that. At the end of the day, you wanna do this as much for yourself as you are for your viewers. You wanna have good content to show. So 295 actually felt very good too. You'll see, it's just a clean rep, super clean. Then I go up to 315 and I tank. Um, the lift off was a little wobbly. My buddy Billy, I grew up with him. It was just a weird liftoff. Uh, he knew it was weird to apologize after, but it's all good. It, you know, it was settled before I dropped it, but it was like one side was lifted before the other. I think that happens when you when you lift with one hand one way and one hand the other. I think the best way is for both of your knuckles to be facing out, or vice versa for you to go underneath the bar um, and kind of lift it like you're doing a, a close grip curl. But um, it's all good. Uh, Billy, Billy's a really cool dude. Um, he's been busting his ass in the gym. I'm sorry for swearing. He's been busting his butt in the gym. He's been doing a great job. I've seen some major progress. He's putting on some muscle. It's just cool to watch people you grew up with grow, you know? Really good to see him at the gym again. Excited to keep seeing him at the gym and see what he's up to. But uh, I didn't hit 315, so kind of scares me. That's what my goal is in this meet is to hit 315 for a paused clean rep. That's what my goal is. Am I gonna break the record? No, I don't. I might break the record for this particular meet at the 148 weight class, but all in all, that's not going to break the record for the state of Ohio. I think the state of Ohio record is 320. Everything I research online um, is kind of all over the place. I read 275 on one website, so I'm not really sure what to believe, which is okay. I'm kind of ranting. I'm gonna go get my hair cut. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I just want to fill you in for everything that's going on right now. All right, guys, back. Haircut, looking fresh. Had some goods. Coming to package today. Public rec. On Instagram, I've been seeing this company pop up for a while. I haven't tried any of their clothes. I'm not sponsored by them. There's no promo code or anything coming. So if you're looking for a discount, I can't help you there, but you can probably find one on Google. But they're supposed to be comfortable dress pants. They are less casual than jeans, but they're more casual than dress pants. Yes, that's, that's the way they advertise them. But they're supposed to be stretchy. They're supposed to be a good fit. So we're gonna try them on. We're gonna see how they look. 
and see if they get the Sydney stamp of approval. Dave, I'm gonna start with red. Because I've never owned a red pair of pants before. Oh wow. They are, they're stretchy. So keep in mind, they're not a jean replacement. They're like a work pant replacement. It's the all day work pants I got. They're, it's a really nice material. Feel this, feel the stretch. Initial thoughts? They feel like leggings. They feel like leggings. You think they're gonna look good on me? No. What is wrong with you? Well, let's put it to the test. You don't have a butt that big. Stop. Just stop talking about my butt like that. Everybody knows you don't ever try on new clothes or buy new clothes while you're dieting. The waist, they fit perfect. You need different underwear on. That's why. Cool. Hi, Kathy. Hey. I like them. Tell me what you think. I like them. Let me see what they look like. I kind of like the way they fit, though. They're a little tight. Maybe that's the point. Here, let me throw on some shoes. Let me throw on some shoes. All right, here, let's do a stretch test. We're gonna squat, we're gonna squat. Wow. Those look good on you. Get, get a close up, get a close up, come on. From the bottom to the side. From the bottom to the side, come on. Damn, boy. How's the butt look? How's it look? Does it look good? You gotta stand in the, the girl's stretch. What is that? I, I'm not doing that. Yeah, you, you have to oh, turn, pop the butt. Does it look good? Like like when I walk. Oh, I look. Yeah. But if you lose weight, are they gonna be too big? I feel like I could do like the splits in these things. Do they look like leggings or do they look like pants? Both. They, I got one that's supposed to be, one is a straight leg. See, these are the fitted legs, so they're a little bit tighter. So let me try on the straight leg. I really like these, I do. All right, let me try them on. So these are a little bit looser. You hit play? It's already playing. Can you like see, can you see me? Yes, Anthony. See Anthony? Pockets are a little high, just a little bit. Put the shoes on, it's like a, it's a looser fit from the knee down, clearly. That's what a straight leg is, okay. Anthony. How's it look? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> They're so stretchy. Do a high jump, huh? squat jump. Should I do a back foot? No. No? You don't Please not right back. now, I don't want to do CPR. You don't think I landed. it. And I don't. But I mean, these... I actually think I might like the fit better for these than I do the other ones. Sure, Kat, let, let Kathy and the whole world see you. Sorry, babe. Please don't throw the shirt I bought you on the ground. No, stop, just stop. Don't be in the in the video. So recently, changing the diet, switched to keto fasting, okay? This is something I've never done before. I love the way I felt fasting and I like eating all my calories at once, but I wasn't losing weight fast enough. So I thought, what's happening? I'm probably eating too many carbs, my body's storing them, and then for the next 23 hours that I wait to eat, it's just eating them, right? It's probably something along that, those lines. I'm sure it's a little more scientific than that, but there's no doubt your body definitely stores carbs that it's not using. So I thought, well, I had a lot of good results when I did keto. Keto's really tough, but Will I be able to do it while I fast? So far I feel great, but what's happening now, I want you guys to think about this. When you do keto fasting, if you're in ketosis, which I am, I got the pH strips, I'm pissing on them, and I'm purple as, purple as you could be. What your body does during the 23 hours that you're not eating is the only thing it can use for energy is fat. That's what's happening in ketosis. Your body's releasing ketones that accelerate fat being metabolized so it can be your primary energy source because there's no glycogen left to use. So that's why I'm losing weight so fast. And you guys are gonna see when I weigh in before we go out to dinner what I weigh. But I was hovering around 160. And you could probably see it in my face. I mean, it's coming off quick. Babe, I need you. Babe, I need a spot. So I'm gonna do a physique update. 
do a couple little poses so you guys can see where the fat loss is coming from. There's my spotter right there. She's taking her time though. She doesn't value time. Bubs, come on. <laughs> Alright, come on. Okay. Come over in the sun. I'm gonna do a front, a front uh, side. Cause I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna compare it to the last time I did this. Can you tell? Am I, am I leaning out? Yeah, but it's hard to tell with your half sunburn. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Do the see the abs coming out? The thing that you do with your yeah, I like when you do that. Yeah, it's just really hard to tell when a quarter of your arm is failed. <laughs> <laughs> the fats come it, it since that video, the last video we took outside, it has to be better than that, right? Yeah, your love handles are getting smaller. Okay, alright, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So alright, last but not least, I'm gonna try on the khaki pair and the black pair really quick. How do I look? Do you like the black? Like Christian Goosen. I'll take it. Mine. He's a great looking guy. Here, can we get a shirt. get a little photo shoot going? I'm gonna take some pictures really quick. Yo, put these on. Yo, yo, ready for this. Uh, yo. Okay, great news. So, I'm at an all-time low for weight, 156.5. That's definitely the lowest that I've been, and I haven't made it back up to 159 or 160, no matter if I ate a meal or I didn't eat a meal. Progress in the right direction, right? So I wanted to just go over again what I'm doing quickly and briefly. Um, I just got to work, and I got back a little bit late last night, so I changed my diet up. We went from eating carbs in the fasting meals, um, every 24 hours I eat one time to eliminating carbs completely. I kind of talked about this while I was outside, but it's working a lot. What I've noticed is I'm starting to adjust to it. I'm waking up, I have more energy, I'm sleeping better, I don't want to go to sleep. It's kind of weird. I just have more energy throughout the day, and that's probably because I am getting rid of a lot of fat. You know, I'm getting rid of stuff that my body's not used to holding on to, which is great. Um, but I am pacing where I need to be for the competition. That's the most important thing. I have to be 153 by the end of Sunday. So you guys will see my weigh-in on Sunday. I will record that. Now that it's crunch time and I only have a couple weeks left, I'm going to be recording a lot more of the small details, the everyday weigh-ins, the, the meals that I'm eating. I wrapped up last night with a steak, it was a Wagyu steak, Wagyu, however you pronounce it, I don't know how you pronounce it. I went to Lago with my good friend Tim, his wife, and Sydney, my girlfriend, and we had an awesome dinner. I got this steak with asparagus, it was incredible. I didn't even use steak sauce, um, but I'm just keeping the fats and the proteins high and having a little bit of vegetables with every single meal that I eat, and um, I felt great after. Um, so everything's moving in the right direction, guys. I really appreciate you guys following. You guys are gonna see that magic that I talk about where all of a sudden the cuts are there, all of a sudden your body comes together, all of a sudden you know, you're at the weight that you wanna be. It's, it's, it's weird. You don't notice the first five or six pounds, maybe a little bit in the face, and then all of a sudden one day you look in the mirror and you're like, wow the diet is working, right? Keto fasting, that's what we're doing right now. And you guys are gonna see some extreme results in the next two weeks. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week. There's a lot to come.